Hello everyone. So welcome to um GPT Office Hour. Yeah. And um, my head got chopped. Let me adjust the camera a little a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. As you sure um for GPT Office Hours, I usually open the. Google form for you guys to submit like 30 hours before so that um, you would be like around here during the stream and before we eventually start with the first question let me say hi to everyone so hi Tomer um where do you put the questions right now the um queue for the question is full but like let's say if I can cover all the three questions um quickly I will open the form again and hi Inferno Drago, hi Tum Tom, the T, hi Movies, hi Miu no Himitsu, Kamara Uncle Shin. Yeah, I think so because like I keep moving my um my chair around. And hi Grief and hi DRN, um hi Retro Thirty One and Project N and Papa Shello and also Retro Thirty One. I feel like I have said hi already, but yeah, that's it. Okay, but again, don't worry. Um, I haven't had spicy food for a while though. What do you think? I have just eaten spicy food meal. So I'm really excited for the first question, which is um um this is like let me delete this first. I don't have enough spaces for new games. So the first question is going to be no don't shaving. No don't shaving is fun, right? So we are going to help. Sam in shaving his park game. You may have seen his game before in the um in our in one of our let's play streams. Yeah. Uh huh. I had. Hey, hi, Mandy. Welcome back. Long time no see. Uh -huh. So you are, you have been taking a break from GPT, right? So welcome back. Zero XD socials. You can also help me in this. You can download this. Wait. Character make. Is it the correct code? It only has, it only has um eighty one nodon, so probably we cannot shave much. Okay, let me check again. Wait, uh, wrong code. I see. Sam actually has sent me a DM to change the code. So the actual code that I need to download is different um, from the one in the Google form. Okay. So right now I'm updating, putting the new code. Yeah. Okay, let me download the new code. Um. Okay. Ah, Project N. So you have got Nintendo Switch Online and Expansion Pack. Um, what? How many of you here have got um Expansion Pack? I have got Expansion Pack, but ah, uh, I feel like I haven't utilized Expansion Pack so much though. Like, yeah. And hi, nine. Parks X2 start full game. Yeah, it should be this one. Okay. Mm, which game do you play on the expansion pack? Yeah. Okay. So this is the code that we are going to do the Nodon Chef together. And feel free to join us in the Nodon Chefing journey. Okay. Yeah. I, I have read your question. Um, double T, so like, double T needs NPCs and quiz, but um, I feel like I will need more details. 
So this is the somehow the thumbnail does not disappear. So we are going to shave the number of nodons from this game. It's actually the the game where a boy exploring a park. Okay. Okay. Um. But oh, I have to press X to start. Okay. So this is the yeah. We can see this boy 3D model with a propeller hat, and um, there is this person Nolan here saying like be good and find your toys. Yeah, let me be a kid again. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. I hope it's um. Okay. Hmm. We will try to find. So, right now, um, there are five hundred twelve nodons. So, chats. How many can we shave? What are these? What is this? Hmm. So let me take a look. This part, okay. I think I remember now. So this part, um, I think in this game we can collect toys. And um, after collecting twelve toys, so you can see those. Wow, this is the park. There are a few AIs running around. Which Thomas Samson? Which, what game do you want to submit? So for today, uh, we only help answering questions. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. So one of the objectives of this game is to collect twelve toys. Yeah. And after I have collected all the twelve toys, right, the game will end. We also have to press this, um, the right button. But we can actually simplify this code. Like, so right now the condition here is that when twelve of the cylinder creates dice treasure chest joy con, um, if any of these um break twelve times, right? This will count. Down 12 times and it will become zero, which makes this condition to be true, and we will be able to end the game. So actually we can replace these two nodons with just a not nodon. Maybe delete it. Why? Mm. So this is one of the most Simple techniques on reducing the number of nodon. Ah, the RN. Yes, I will play your game next TV stream. Of course, if you submit it to the Google form, which will be open like usually um, Thursday evening or Wednesday evening. Mm. Okay, so we have reduced one nodon. Uh huh. Retro thirty one is also having. So right now, um, we have got three questions in the queue, but if we have got more time, we will open the question queue again. Yeah. So this is the end game condition. I don't think we can shave any more neurons here, unless um, there are also other places that use this button. Okay. Yeah. Um. So let's go take a look at the other place. This place. Okay. This is actually a same condition, right? Basically, um, this means hey, hi, green table. Right now we are shaving the nodons for Sam for his park game. This one is actually the same condition as here. So basically, it keeps counting um, the number of 
broken cylinders and fancy objects until it became until it has become a wolf and will trigger the victory sound and also teleport. So basically we can remove this and use the same signal. Okay. I will help organizing the code a little bit as well. So I move trigger to here and then teleport. Okay. Oh Submit Tomer, what do you mean by submit? Um Oh Um you cannot submit now but you might be able to let's see how how fast can I cover these two equations like I don't want to accept too many questions and then I cannot cover all of them like what happened in my first stream yeah so this one um, can I do anything here this is constant one timer one and ah this part is for the water animation in the park This part is um, we can actually um, I'm trying to reuse this constant one. I think so we can save this by reusing constant one from other places. Or we can even use this um, constant as well. Ah, there is also constant one here. Hmm. I cannot. I actually don't want. Should I reuse the constant? Because it's going to be. Hmm. Ah. We can actually reuse this, right? So this one, the counter, um, we count out the counter by negative 0 0.25, which is the same as, so like minus negative 0 0.25 is the same as plus 0 0.25, am I right? So here I can remove and then use this one, send it to counter send it to count up instead I think this, is, this part is for the swing that's my guess yeah there are two swings here mm. and this is yeah okay what is this part oh this part is for the AI Let me reuse the constant one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Project next. Wow. It seems like many of you guys are making a game to um, for players to find items like Logan Miller and Hi Logan. Logan is making a game to find the pins. Meanwhile, Project N is making a game for. Um, Finding the keys. Mm. Yeah. What is this? This is button B. When a button B is pressed, it will move in the C axis. Okay. Let me change the music a little bit. I want something um, that is less calm, more exciting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, mm, this one is the skateboard part, I believe. 
Okay, this is. I'm trying to figure out what it is for. Oh no, actually this one is for the swing. Uh huh. I see. Let me try the swing. Okay, go go go. Where is the swing? Hmm. How many nodons have we shaved so far? Seven nodons only. Yeah. So right now we are playing some Nintendo music, but I don't know what it is. I just pick a random playlist in YouTube actually. I think I can um play that swing. I love the propeller effect. How to go up though? I'm actually not sure which part is this. Having fun kid. Hmm. Oh, this one is the big person not on. Okay. I feel like I actually should use this person not on or make it move really fast. Ah, is that me? Ah! So if I press B, I can push this guy. Nice. Mmm. We <laughs> fell down. And panic! Hi! Okay. Can we improve? I keep using the wrong mouse. Like, uh, so basically, I have one mouse for uh, my laptop and another mouse for GBC. And like, I keep using the mouse for my um, PC instead of the mouse that connects to Nintendo Switch. I think this one is pretty optimized. Um, yeah, this is where we can press B to swing the swing. Mm. Anything else? One touch person. There's so many touch sensor here. Uh, notification system sound destroy what is this oh this is the toy room I guess okay so I guess we only want to show um The texture, like after collecting the football, the football texture will be shown in the room. Okay. Touch sensor. I'm curious, like, why do we need to touch sensor here? Ah. Hmm. Like, so one is shaking for cylinder, the other one is shaking for. The person, the condition here, it checks whether it touches cylinder or the person, right? But this one, it checks if the touch sensor touches only the person. Hey, Sinister 123, hi, long time no see. Welcome back to GPT. Mm. Hey, Mandy, hi. Oh. You know, the guy, we only do one question per person. Yeah. So we have got two touch sensor. I have a feeling that we actually don't need to shake for the cylinder here. Right. I think this, it checks for cylinder because um, on the person not on, there is the cylinder, which is the body. Yeah, we can remove, actually remove this one. Wait, let me check the size and um, condition point so 2 2 2 by 4 this one also mm, I think 
we can actually re remove this one and then play this out here. Okay. And one more thing. So I noticed that we actually use the destroy nodons everywhere, right? We can actually attach the destroy object to the person nodon instead because we are not going to destroy all the items. We only destroy the items when the person nodon touch this. Yeah, so that's one of the possible nodon shaving idea. I actually got this idea from um, Sir though, so like Sir um, helped me optimizing my help me shaving the community game not done. So touch sensor here and then destroy sensor. Mm, but let's give the destroy object. No, no, as it is for now. I actually feel um, it's a bit hard to read when all the nodons are overlapping together. So, this one it will show the train touch sensor. Okay. Okay, maybe. Okay, I think I will start shaving the node on by adding the destroyed object so instead of like let's say having like let's say in this case two different destroy object nodons I will only use one destroy object nodons and connect it to the person nodon yeah and it should work The person around that I'm controlling. No, this one is the AI. But where is my character? It should be in the room, right? Be good. Yeah, this is my character. So let's move this guy around first. Wait, before moving, I should note um what is the current position yeah so that hey third are both boxes necessary which boxes um maybe not <laughs> but I'm not sure which boxes Wait, actually, let me double check this part. Why, why do we have a cylinder here as well? Ah, it's actually a platform. Okay. I have just noticed his comments. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it should be here, right? Yeah. So. Hmm. Where am I? I will connect this destroy node on to the person node on instead. And. Yeah. Let's test. Wait. I don't want to fall down. Yes, okay. So I'm going to keep um, reusing this destroy node on at other places as well. Okay. <laughs> oh, really? I'm so
so proud to get approved by third. Okay, so this one I'm going to destroy the dice, and um. Mm. Um. Actually, for this one, we actually don't need the touch sensor, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Because I can make this to. Are there other dices? I don't think there are other dices in this game. My personal rod is falling down. I keep and I keep um, using the wrong mouse. Wait. It just starts with this. Uh huh. Let me remove this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. We can remove those um, touch sensor actually. They're not really necessary. This one notification sound. This try sensor only outputs one frame, right? This sensor is not no use unless you connect it to something it outputs one when the, the object is connected to is destroyed. So actually I can remove this touch sensor but only use this destroy no don destroy sensor to um play the sound the notification sound okay let's move on to the next part okay so this one destroy the box Yeah, we also don't need the... We can add the box here. And here we also don't need a touch sensor. Yeah. Okay. Let's test. I hope I haven't... Um, Broke the game yet? Wait, I cannot. I cannot destroy this train. Okay, why, 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 why? It's the box, right? And this can and destroy the box. This is destructible by destroy object, but somehow I cannot destroy it. Mm. How? I don't get it. Um. Okay. Ah, the box must. This one must be taller. Okay. Yes. Nice. I really love the propeller. Um. You are mute. That I'm <laughs> many times that I break game, but that's also happened to you, right? Like I mean, the more you pro program, um, like the higher chance of breaking the game. Okay, how many nodons already? Ah, we have shaved only two of nodons. Hmm. Let me do this. Joy con. Okay. So again, we don't need this. And I can add the joy con left to here. And hi, Kyoko. We are going to play Monster Hunter after this. So, are you ready to join and help me? Okay. Yeah. So I actually um okay. 
Mm. I think this try soy con rice. Okay, I can add soy con rice to here as well. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Um. Oh yeah, the I N mix. Um. I think yeah. For the destroy no don part, I will let Sam continue by his own. So let let me move this back to the original position. And yeah, I actually believe that um, there are many more nodons that we can share. But let's try doing the thumbnail thing before we go to the next game. Because we actually have spent um, quite some time on this game already. Okay. Yes. So I have to find the crates. Mm. Where is the thumbnail? Let me try to figure it out. Oh, let me remove this as well. One. Are these two timers different? Six, six. Ah, they are actually the same. So let me reuse this as well. <laughs> I'm shaving no done without testing. This is bad. Actually, you know what? Um, when you shave the nodon, you should keep testing. Yeah. So where is the thumbnail? Mm, I'm trying to find it. Wow. That's the head nodon. This is fancy object I create. This is the flag. When the crate. Okay. Should we do this though? Mm. When we create, we can use this. When X is pressed, we will destroy the crate. We can actually change this one to on start. Mmm, Miu. Miu says, Who need test when we have the GPT stream? The game will break anyway regardless of test. Oh my god. That means I'm a good player and also a good tester, you know. Um, but I don't know the RN. Mm, this one will change the functionality. Like... Um, I'm not sure what Sam would love love to do here. Like maybe he wants to press um the player to press X before the game starts. Yeah. Hmm. How many runners are there already? This one on start. Timer. This is the custom BTM. Oh, we will output for range. Do we need this one though? When it's a range. We actually don't need this, right? I can just use constant one here. Okay, we'll confirm with me that this is the greater choice, so let's keep it as it is. But for here, we don't actually, we don't need the timer. We can replace it if it's constant one, because um, like when the game starts, it will count from 0 to 600, regardless of um, how the code looks like. Okay. We have shaved like... 70 nodons in total. 
we definitely can shave more. Like this one is unused. But yeah, because we have got more games, so more questions. So let's go to the next question first. And yeah, thank you for everyone's help. We have helped Sam shaving in total 21 nodons. Let me share this code. Um, I'm. I don't know. Let me just add this. Okay. Yes, I'm excited to see the next question, which is about NPC and quiz. The party are you still here? Because I'm actually not sure. Um, I have read your question before the stream has started, but I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Yeah. Really, the RN? I haven't heard of that. So the RN says, by the way, did you know that there is a programming school in Italy that uses um, GPT, to, GPT to teach the basic logic of programming and game dev? Really? That's. I don't know. Isn't it? I feel like. I think it's more common to use Scratch to teach programming, right? And because um, Scratch is more accessible, I mean, you only need a website and it's free, but for GPT, you need Switch and also you need a game, which is um, most of them are Kinda pricey though, right? Okay, so let's go to the next question. Bye! Tom Tom, oh, double T. So the question, um, let me put the code here. <gasps> Am I? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, sleep a crash. So, let's go to the next question. The next question is from Tom Tom. Right, or the T. The question is Um so do you want to add NPC and Chris? And after this we have got a question from the Stray. It's I think it's pretty popular right now, right? The score on stream. Um score on stream is like 10 out of 10, which is quite high. Yeah. Are you playing it right now? Nine. Okay. So let's go to the next game. We are going to add, add an NPC and a simple quest. Hey, Rao. Rao. Ra. Rao. Lopez. Lopez. Um. You mean you want me to play Fortnite 3D in GPT? I actually have never played Fortnite before. What? Mm. Wait. The game is that short. How long is the stray? Um. How long does it take to finish the game? Yeah. It's a sad ending. No, I actually, actually love the game with happy ending. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, what? Did you just spoil the ending to us tonight? <laughs> okay. Python Metal by um, the T. It's only 5 to 8 hours. Should we try? I can try it in like in one of the stream. Like I don't stop until I complete the game. Is it fun though? Although the BGM is quite loud. 
โอเค thank you thank you yeah okay is it okay right now so okay this is character maker and we need to add NPC and quest hmm. um right now there is nothing and but if I press L R is the L Z R button I can change between faces. This is what it means by um, Karamiker. Yeah. Okay. This looks pretty funny. So, um, NPC and quest. Let's add a simple quest. I don't know what kind of quest we should add. Ah, uh, I actually feel like I want to shave not on here. But um let's Fortnite 3D. I still have a list of games that I need to make, but I will keep that in consideration after I have finished making the game that I have to make. So actually I still need to make the community game, the beach day. I don't want to finish the game in October because I don't want to finish to make my beach day community game to be her beach day. So for an NPC, right? Okay, let's think. What kind of quest we should do here? So mm, I don't know. Mm, the simple, the most simple quest is like to. Um, yeah, I have multiple games to make. Um, actually, I also have. I want to finish Kirby template as well. I think that also counts. That also counts as one GPG game. Yes. Um, so let's make an NPC. Okay. So let's say the quiz is to collect an apple. I usually feel like Double T has made an NPC and a quest before. So I'm actually not sure what kind of quest he wants to make here. It's pretty vague and ambiguous. So let's make this quest um like Giving this person not on an apple, and for the quest, right? Um, let's say, um, or maybe a hippo. Like the quest is his hippo is missing. Yeah, so we need to bring him back his hippo. I don't know, this is pretty random. Oh, bring him back the fourth ball. We are making NPC and quiz. So like, right now I'm adding one NPC. And a fluff ball. And I will just add a simple texture. Seeing that I need my fluff ball is missing. No, actually, let's use um, a text node on. Um, let's see how fast I can make a simple quest. Okay. So, this one. What kind of NPC? So, this NPC is... Um, this NPC is having a missing fluff ball. I don't know. So, um, Double T, give me a, an open end question. So, I'm going to make a really simple NPC just for an example. But, chat, when you think of um, NPC and quest in GPT, what kind of quest can you think of? Like, I mean, one of the most simple quest is usually collect an apples. 
and we will need a flag to tell if the quest has been completed or not. When the quest, this one will say, my buff ball is missing. Yeah, my fluff. I really slowly here. Oh, yeah, that's also one possible quest. Um, Muses slay X monster, collect Y items, delivery, pass it to a person 100 meter away. Or uh, one of the most common quests in um, Shokami series is to um, push the golf ball to the hole. Hey, PJ, welcome. So, Aha! Uh -huh. I would be happy to help Lopez. Yeah, but right now we have got a few more questions to cover, and I don't think I I am able to um, cover your question for Fortnite. So this um, the person not only have to only need to say my fluff is missing when the quest. Is incomplete, right? Yeah, and this one maybe you can say, like, Yeah, my fluff is back. Okay, yeah, my fluff is back. Is back okay what what is your progress on your fortnite game lopez yeah um i need to connect this one with the transparent texture because i don't want to see the background or the box and the flag is on when the quest is ongoing so when the quest is ongoing i will have to show this text message but hmm, after the quest has end i will show another text instead okay and right now this person on is having um trooper like it keeps floating from time to time that's because the text no don't it's not movable okay it's wrong oh um since the flag is off by default i actually think let me change this so the flag is on when the quest has completed and the flag is off when the quest is ongoing. Yes, it will say this NPC will says will say um, my fluff is missing and hi Mr. O Okay. I wonder Yeah. It's quite a small window for submission. Um it was actually before um, people to be here during the stream because sometimes I have a question for the person. The party was here a moment ago. Yeah. So the quest will um, end when I can deliver this. Um. This fluff ball back to the cage. No, baby, back to the prisoner. Don. I can use the teleport exit here to teleport the fluff ball. Okay, and add the teleport entrance. So 
I will keep teleporting this um, rough ball object to next to the person not on. I mean, there are many other ways of me doing this. Um, this will teleport the fluff ball. Hey, hi, Gumby, Shao, and hello, John. I haven't seen you for a while. Because, yeah, last week I did not stream that much as well. Like, I was packing my stuff to prepare my going back, my trip back to Thailand. So I need to teleport when the flag is on, which means the quest has, has completed. And then sensor, touch sensor here. So we only complete the quest after this person can touch a fluff ball. Okay. And after this person has touched the fluff ball, we will turn on the flag. And um, this quest will complete and it will say, yeah, my fluff is back. And this teleport will be activated. So the fluff ball will keep teleporting to here. Let me change this one to reset. Okay. I'm trying to deliver. I never know delivering fluff ball is so difficult. Yay! So this is one of the simple quests. Yes, that's it. Yay! And we can finally return Fluff to the person not on. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think. And. Yeah, let me share this code. Add the word office office hour. Okay, that's one of the simple quests that you can add. But Mew has given multiple other ideas as well, such as um, selling enemies, which sounds pretty violent, <laughs> like what Mew usually does, and. Mm, what else? What are the, are the other ideas? There are plenty. You can scroll up in chats. Okay, let me share this. And okay, let's um. Um, actually, I think the next question, okay, I think we can get one more question, so I will open the form and I will get only one more question, okay, so the next question is actually from the guy, the question is, Right now, I have opened the form again. Um, and it's going to be the last question of today. The guy, how to add a cape to the person? No, on. Not texture? No, on. Um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let me drink some water. Okay. Um. So we're going to make a cave, a cave for the person around. Okay. I. Wow, Gumby has. Got an idea on how to, for how to do that. Feel free to share your idea, Gumby. Before that, I will make a simple person not on first. Person. And I will add the 
game screen. So that um, I can press start game from anywhere. Mr. O what? Actually, Mr. O, do you have work today? I remember that, I remember that you are usually quite busy on weekdays, but I'm really happy to see you, see you here. It kind of, yeah. And, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, Ropez, we actually have a stream dedicated for playing games. Yeah. Are you on Discord? If you're on Discord, you get, you can get notified when um, the stream is scheduled and when you can submit the game for me to play. Button press B for jumping. Okay. You will start at 10 a.m. What time is it for you right now? Mm, is it like 8.30 a.m.? For when? Actually, what time does it for you? Yeah. What time is it for everyone right now? For me, it's um 8.30 p.m. Previously, when I was in Singapore, right now, it should be 9.30 p.m. for me. Aha. Uh -huh. But right now, I'm back. Um, in Thailand yeah so I'm going to add a cape mm. so let me use the um, maybe portray my idea a little bit um, where is my mouse again okay um anyway I have um so wow and thank you for coming to the stream um in the morning tab. I know it's very really hard for you to wake up but yeah thank you so much um okay so this is the person not on. Right. And I'm going to attach a cave. Let me draw the side of the person not on. This is side. Front. Side. So the idea here is that I will I think I need to attach something here right like hinge a hinge here and then I will have a box connect to the hinge I might not have to add the counter to control the physics I'm not sure how it will look like but if it looks really bad I will add the Counter. Might. Um. But we might not need a uh, counter to control the hinge. We will see. You could use a set of boxes and connect them using a hinge spring and hundred. Okay. Um, Gambi says, let me put Gambi idea first. So Gambi say, um, oh, I see. Okay, Mr. O have tried making this. Mr. O has tried making cross physics by using box plus hinge but um Gambi let me read Gambi chat again set of boxes 
Gummy idea is also the same, which is box plus hinge. One hundred eighty degree connection. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what type of cape does the guy want. The guy was here a few moments ago. Um. Yeah, let's try. Um, a set of box and hinge. I actually has made a rope before, but I use string. No done. Yeah, we can try hinge first. Um, the hinge. This one center. I'm going to make it visible first so that I can see where um, the box is. Okay, let me move it to the back. Make it. I'm going to make it thinner. Okay, make it thinner. So um, I have to reduce the value on the axis, and I will move this one to the back. So the target connection point should be. Um, C positive. Okay. Um, what I'm trying to do here is like I want to add the red hinge at the top, right? So I'm actually adding one purple box there to help positioning the red hinge. Okay. Um, let me change the color to match the visualization. Is that purple? Yeah. Okay. And I will move this, connect this one to the top. Mm, y negative to Y positive so that it will be on top. And color, let's change this one to be red. Yeah, okay. I keep using the wrong mouse. We can change this one on Y axis. So after this, I will keep adding a hinge. And then... Um, a few more boxes to make a cape. So this one, the hinge has to be X hinge. Okay. And then a few more thin boxes let me change this one to be blue color blue connection point it has to connect to the back of the cape no actually it has to connect at the um, bottom of the red box so the own connection point has to be y positive and target is x Y negative. Yeah. Oh my god. This is yeah how the cape looks like right now. Um Okay. So it's because of the range of the hinge, but if I set it to like smaller value Okay. Um, I need smaller value on the positive side. Okay. Yeah. Maybe increase the range on the negative side so that it can go back a little bit further. Yeah, and also reduce the thickness of the cave, of the cape. So this is already the 
Hmm. I see. We can actually attach a texture on C Center, I guess. Okay. Actually, let me try adding a few more hinge to see how it looks like. Okay. I feel like it will look strange, but by the way, why did why do we need 180 degree um, rotation though? Actually, we may not need to. I think I see. I see. This one can swing in semicircle, right? It's cheaper, but I think if we use hinge instead of 180 rotation, we can control the degree better. I see. It only moves when there is um like. change in momentum it actually looks pretty cool though but I cannot hope that like when I keep running forward right mm. Mm. like when I'm running like this I hope the cape will be like pushed backward. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, nice. Gumby, thank you. Yeah. Mm. It looks pretty cool. But can we do better than this? Make some parts solid. Okay. If we make this one... Let me try. We can make all the parts solid. She doesn't help because um <laughs> try 40 or zero gravity okay but that will um, okay I don't think we can we can use 40 because the person around might float right yeah Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. I think yeah maybe zero gravity. But if it's zero gravity I think when the person don't stand still the float will the cap will float. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. Yeah. Wait, but actually it's, it's actually pretty cool. Mm. I don't know which one is better. Um change only some of them. I'm thinking of using string. use the string um I think yeah maybe I use the zero cavity for the last few one right okay if you use zero, zero cavity for the last two yeah I think it looks nicer. Or I'm 
using floaty on the last one. I don't think if I change the last one to floaty, the person around the person around will float because the person around is really heavy right now. No, but no, the last one cannot be floaty, but maybe the first one can be floaty. If the first one is floaty. And um, maybe the last one should not be zero gravity after all. We can also. Mm. Okay, we limit this one to be zero. I think we can use different. Um, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> <My love. laughs> okay. Um, I said I don't know just now. If you wonder, um, so mm, I think it it looks quite cool right now. Um, so zero, I'm thinking, I think it looks nice already, right? What are the other adjustments that we should do here? Shots. Maybe remove the height, the blue, the purple. Okay, yes. Let's hide the purple and red box. I think I should make it the cape to be nearer to the person not on. Um, should I change this one to be um, center to center though? But then, yeah. No. Right now the cap is a bit. Too large, right? Am I right? Mm. But I think it looks nice right now. Let's fix the large cap and we go to the next game. So just now, um, basically just now, <laughs> Mrs. Parents attack. No, just now, my parents were asking me like, um, when, when will I go meet my friends? And then, I actually have an appointment with my friend, but like, I'm not sure when. So I told my parents, I don't know. <laughs> um, okay. So let me change this one to be... I'm going to add one small boxes. One small box. Here. And... Maybe make the red block visible. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. This one, let's make it very thin. Center to center. Mm, not, no, not really, not center to center. Um, yeah, yeah, I think it's actually correct. Yeah. Then I can increase the...
um, thickness of this one a little bit. Hey! Yes, we a little bit more. Yeah, I think right now it looks nice. Right? For the cape. I don't... Um, I actually don't like how I can see the foot when I run like this. But, I mean... Um, should I add the counter? No, I think... Yeah, let's keep it like as it is otherwise it's going to be more and more expensive and I actually quite in love with the current physics because it's it's slightly floaty but it's good because this person or not is very okay try adding a repelling force when you walk you mean adding um using the attract mode on right okay let's do that Yeah. Um so this one and then in center of attraction should be at the back so it's it's going to be C positive. And I only need this Is it working? not attract is it not attracting the objects in the same group and hi Julian Mario boy eight mm. yeah that's what I'm curious about as well I don't think it can so mm. we can use teleport Exit here, and then um, I will teleport. I will have to teleport um, the box with the attract node on, and then another one is teleport exit. No teleport entrance. A eh? hey, not orange one is cool. Hi, we have got one cool. More cool guy here. Um, CX3 to jump and separate from. Mm. Yeah. So teleport what? I can teleport. Actually, let's use um um fancy object here, like a uh, pencil. Okay. And I will use a pencil. Where is the pencil? Yes, it's here. And connect this one to here. And here. Um, remove solid. Make it visible and movable first. Oh my god. No, 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 no. <gasps> so right now the... It's because this attract. Yeah, this attract object actually attracts the person. Attract it actually attracts all the boxes and those boxes who who the person or not. Yes, right now the cap is alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, okay, I should save it. Should I add the repel? How to add the repulsion force without 
um, affecting the person around physics though. Hmm. We exchange this one to be in front. And connect this one to the back of the pencil. Wait. No, no, no. This tail part must be at the center of the pencil. Okay, and I think okay. Let's see. I I will try add, adding um a small force only when um the person or not is moving on whatever direction. So whenever X there is a speed in any of the directions, I want to logic not. Where it is? When all of these are zero, this will be true. But. If any of this is not zero, like one one, okay, I will use double knots and then map. I feel like this is expensive, but no. Is there a way to make this cheaper? Ah. Uh, I see. So it has suggested a uh, nice way, which is. Um, we can actually teleport the cape as well and apply an opposite force to the person. I see. Yeah. But, like I said. It... We need digitize. Or, we don't need. Ah, uh, I actually need this. Mm. So, I think it looks nice, better, right? Yeah. So when the force is small, it does not really affect the person around physics that much. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'm thinking. But what is happening here? Ah! I don't know why, because actually the person around is moving a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah, we need this is tight, no wrong. And... Yeah. Connect this, this, this. And we press this knot. Okay. Do you think will it work? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yes, the anime capes. Or actually, can we just make it invisible? So it is invisible cape from Harry Potter. Basically, just 
deleting everything. Oh my gosh, that's bad. Yeah, it's pretty good right now. Thank you so much everyone for the input. Especially, yeah, I mean everyone. Yes. Let me organize a little bit. Does it look nicer? Okay, and this is the cape. Our cape! Yay! I'm not going to make everything invisible. Yeah. By the way, I think having pencil here is pretty cool. It's like this personodon is wearing like um clothes. Yeah. Okay. So now we can make a superhero. Yes. Which superhero we should make? Hmm. Not right now, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Keep. Um. Oh, so we can make a ah, superhero called Pencil Man. Um, keep. Keep. This one is from the office hour, so let's put it like this. Nice. Okay. So here come the last question from Lopez. And after this is Monster Hunter Tan. Super Note should be his name. Aha. Uh -huh. You can adopt this Super Note or Pencil Man and make a game. The Cape Man game. Uh -huh. Okay, DRN. DRN has tried Gumby's GPT mod. What? Um. Yeah. Which part is the favorite part? Which part is your favorite in GPT mod game? For me, it was the domino part. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. How far are you at Monster Hunter right now, Mr. O? Okay, so the last question is from Logan. Okay. Um, the code. So we are going to add more features to his game. Control is um, the basic control, A jump, L stick move, R stick move camera, and we need to add more pins. I think we will understand it more. I have share this one, right? Okay. Um. Okay. So, um, the code is. C O O three F one B eight nine eight. Okay. So we're going to add more pins. Find the pins eighteen. Not done. Okay. It. Hey Logan! Oh, so actually, mm, Logan is the one who can make a really fast submission. Find pin 18. Not done. Okay. Ah, yeah, the iron makes. I also love that gravity gun. And I actually love using the gravity gun to push the domino. <gasps> this is based on the object show, right, Logan? Why do you need me to add more pins? I actually think adding all the pins are quite simple, right? Yeah, it's based on object show, right? I have watched a few episodes. Mm. 
It's Battle for the Dream Island by by Jack and Jelly. So what kind of pin um, do you want me to add? Okay, how about this? I add an animated pin, one pin. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, devil pin. What is that pin? <gasps> Such pin. Okay. So let's add and a three D pin, three D model. Okay, let me take a look. So what? What kind of animation should it do? Maybe it should jump. Does that sound good? I think so. Yeah. Uh, jumping pin waiting to be discovered. Right. Okay. So a jumping pin. Um... We are going to make a... Uh, so we have a person node on. Basically, we will have a loop. This one will keep jumping every, let's say, one second or whatever. Then we will have a 3D model. So, um, we need a cylinder. Add the middle and also a cylinder here and also a cylinder there. This one, um, the connection point um, will be from Y positive to Y negative, I think. And yeah, draw a face, right? And then jump. So let's make a simple animation as well. So like when it jumps, it will lift its arms. Okay, let's make this um, simple 3D model. Okay. So one more pin. Uh, what kind of pin should we add here? Mm, I actually want to make something related to Pokemon, <laughs> like Pokemon pin. <laughs> I don't know. Um, mm, Pikachu pin, Penguin pin. Mm, never mind. Let's add the normal pin first. Okay. Um. Where is my person not on? My person not on. It's here. <gasps> um. I start to think that I want to make the model simple. <laughs> so that I can play Monster Hunter. <laughs> oh my god, now I feel like I'm, I start to slack. No, it's because I don't want all my readers to feel tired and wait for me for too long. Okay, so let me add the cylinder, which is going to be the body first. And the color is going to be red. Yes, there is a pin on top of the tree. Maybe let's change this one to yellow. Yeah, pick a pink. Wait, not, not like that. Oh my god, it's like um, it's having a crowd right now. So okay, mm, center to center. Why 
is the starting arm of the distance? Let's add this one to um five. No, no, no. Must be negative five. Because I want to see the front. And I will connect this one to the new pin temporarily. Yes. It's a bit too long, I think. Okay. Make a jab pin. Ah. How to make a jab pin? Okay, draw my face on it and hair. Let's make Pinkachu. Yes. Okay. Maybe I should hide this person, not on. And then I connect another cylinder on top. Okay. Ah, Akachang pin. Oh my god, now there are so many pins, pin ideas. Right now, yeah, I think Logan, how many more pins do you need? No, no, <laughs> I should feel like I will feel strange if I have a pin merge, though. No. I don't know. This one should be on top, on top, yes, yeah, so it's from y negative to y positive. Yes, this looks like Mario pipe. Okay, reduce the thickness. I don't need more pins. That's that means that I don't think that's possible, right? I don't. I mean, um, each pin. How how expensive is each pin? By the way. Okay. This one has to be from y positive to y negative. Actually, let me remove the whisper because I don't like seeing those lines. Yeah, and I will add the yellow texture. Okay. Oh, Mario pin. Okay. No, it's not going to be um, six hours drawing pin. <laughs> I okay, face. I should know better for the dream island art style. Okay, chic, chic. Where is my Pikachu? I should use it. As a reference, so I will be. Um, it's just on my. Oh yeah, it's there. Let me bring it here for reference. Yes, it's here. Okay, so this is the face. My my drawing is pretty ugly. We, we are going to make only one pin. <laughs> you know what? I actually almost pressed Ctrl C on, on the keyboard. Nah, I, I disappeared because I actually wear um, like sports shorts. <laughs> and I don't want to show it. Um, yeah. So I need to... Um, yeah, turn off my camera. <laughs> okay. Mouth, nose. Nose is too big. Wait, I'm about to press Ctrl C again. This one texture face C negative. Like how it look oh my god it's, it's not going to be six hours of me drawing
Um. No, I don't like it. I think it should be shorter. Yeah. And like the chic part. I think just a small, um, small red dots are better. Yeah, it's a bit curse. Bear with me. Maybe 0 0.9 is better. <laughs> okay. It's a bit... The body is a bit too long, right? Yeah, this is cute. Cute? I think it's cute. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So next is um, I'm going to add. Yes, I'm going to just I'm going to add just one simple texture on top. Um, I can just keep using the cylinder actually because I'm going to use um C center. So it doesn't really matter which shape I'm using here. Okay, so point eight. Let's make it visible. <gasps> oh yeah. And then let's make it invisible. I saw the XE pin. Ah, you can ask Logan to do that after this so the pin yes we will use uh at ears <laughs> too many ears um the texture face must be z center okay let's make it smaller um it has to be shorter on Y axis. I think it's pretty cute. Right? And then next is the leg. Next are the leg. Um, so I'm going to add the... This part. This will be... Um, add the... Bottom. I cannot really see. Wait, why can't I see it? Why well, perceive by negative? Ah, I have to connect this one to this cylinder. So this one will be like between the two legs. I just noticed I need more. Um, Yellow texture. Okay. Um, I think oh uh, oops, I moved something. I almost break Logan's game. Yes. And then um I'm gonna add two more cylinders at the side. Wait, I should sphere first to be the joint. By the way, um, Kio Wall has published a very nice tutorial on how to make a 3D model. So you can check that one. Yeah. And this one. Uh, keep pressing the wrong button X positive to X negative Yes mm. Actually I have feeling that this one should be at the center Center of the bottom cylinder So that the movement is more natural And then I will add Um a few more cylinders 
This one would be the leg, Pikachu leg. Um, connection points. Target connection point center, con own connection point Y positive. And then let's see how it looks like. Wait. Y increase the Y value. Pikachu must have a very short leg, though. Does it still look like a pin? Hmm. This one, um, very... Okay, connect this one to the bottom. Does it look cursed? I think it looks fine. 0.25 maybe Is it a bit too short? <laughs> um. Okay I think it's a bit too short Okay Um Wait, this one connection point is wrong. Target connection point must be Y negative and own connection point is. I think it's okay to for Pikachu to, to has to have a long long legs. Or should it should it have a short short legs? Okay, let's copy this. Okay, okay. Do we need arms? Can add arms. How about tail instead of leg? Oh, that's a nice idea, Mew. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. But let me keep this as well, just in case. So I'm going to add a tail. Yes, you cannot. Yeah, that's a good idea. We doesn't want the Pikachu to look cursed anymore. So thank you. On connection Y positive and target connection point Y negative. And I'm going to connect this one to the bottom part of the pin. And increase Y. Yes. Okay. You can, if you want cross leg, you can change, add the connection of this to this instead. But I'm going to use the tail idea. So this is Pikachu tail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice beat M right now. So, um, should, should we make a female Pikachu? I think so. Oh, just normal male. Yeah. Mm, let's make female Pikachu. Yes. Okay. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay, and next we need. <laughs> I'm actually right now. I'm grabbing my instead. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Yeah. We need the brow part. Oh, we actually... I have, I have forgotten about Pikachu back. Ah. Okay. And I need to rotate this one. Wait. I need to make this one um, invisible. I cannot see. 
this part clearly. Okay. Yes. It looks blunt. Why? Why is 0.4? Uh huh. Let me change this one um, to match the dimension. Okay. We 0.6 and then change this one to match, match the value as well. No, right now it's too big. 0.5 and here also 0.5. Ah, it right now the tail um goes inside the ground. Don't you have devil pin already? That one, that's a devil pin, right? A tail, a tail. But just now it has many tails. Actually, it was a pretty cool. Yeah, I need to add the back. Texture. Um. Okay. How many? There are two lines. Okay. This one must be on um, C positive only because it's at the back. Okay, close. Deleted. <gasps> Wrong. Wrong connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. I don't think I need Pikachu arms. Um. It looks cuter this way. I think if I add um like arms here it will look pretty cute yeah yes because i feel like if i add um two arms there it will look curse yeah draw arm instead you are right then next Let's make it jump So we can use a timer And we can It can jump every One second Jump Jump Yeah And right now it does not look really alive Right So we can add a it can blink its eyes. Cursed pin. Okay, so. Yes. Um. Let's make. Okay, and we we have to set up a loop. Like, how many seconds should it bring its eyes? So maybe um, every five seconds, and it will blink for like zero point two second, right? That means. It has to open its eyes after 0.2 seconds and for 5 seconds. And Jolly Name Fafafi, thank you for the subscription. So, um, on start. Um, so, we need to set up a loop here. But right now, at the first 5 second it will there will be no texture so we need one more timer who output for 
five second. Okay. Blink. Can you blink your eye? Yes. Okay. Oh, all random seconds. Ah. Yeah. That's also possible. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So we have finished adding one pin. Pikachu pin. Yeah. You can try adding more pins like Sonic XE pin, Cursed pin, um, Mew pin, Flygon pin, um, Akajang pin, or my pin. Yes. So this is a simple one that we have just made. And yeah, this is the last question of that we are going to call for for today's office hour. So yeah, thank you so much, everyone. Wait, before that, I need to. Um, I will help Logan organize this a little bit, move it to another place. Yes. And change the camera thing back to normal. Oh, yeah. So let me share this one. Okay. And so, Logan, what are the other pins that you plan to add? Okay. Okay, Office H fine. Yeah, share online. Yes, so you can download this code and um yeah. Okay, let's see this. Um Pinkachu jumping one more time and yeah. Okay, and that's it. We're going to end today's office hour, and we will have a similar office hour, like more office hour in the future. And I hope to see you all soon. And thank you so much, everyone. Help. Um, I really like. I think the stream goes smoothly because of everyone's ideas as well. Like especially the cape one. I. Yeah, I did not think of, I could not, I did not think of that method when I got that question. But yeah, like Gumby, Mr. O, um, had provided me a really good starter, and that helped us in continue working on it. And yeah, the cape looks really cool. And as well as this Pikachu, we also have got many inputs like from Mew, Mew told me. Mew actually has told me how to make it less cursed. Yeah. And also special thanks to Sir and John for um, other inputs and DRN and the Green Water D and Charlie Name movies. And yeah, thank you everyone. So bye all and see you soon in the Monster Hunter stream. But I need to <laughs> um, give me a few more minutes um, before Monster Hunter stream though. Yeah. So yeah. Bye bye! Everyone, you can still join me in Monster Hunter stream. And yeah, see you soon! Bye bye! And also, any feedback are welcome. Bye! And bye bye! Yovo! Yovo ke! I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but you can let me know later. Yes, see you all soon.